Listen, reading and critical thinking. In this lesson, we are going to listen to a talk in the Sherlock Holmes Museum. And we are going to read The Hound of the Baskerville. A talk in the Sherlock Holmes Museum. It's a talk between a tour guide and some visitors. Well, good morning everyone and welcome to 221 Baker Street, the building where Sherlock Holmes and his friend Dr. Watson lived between 1881 and, 1880 and 1894. As you know, this is now the Sherlock Holmes Museum. I'll show you some of the places you'll know about if you have read the Sherlock Holmes stories or seen the films. If you have any questions, just ask them as we walk around. Excuse me, Sherlock Holmes wasn't a real person, was he? No, he wasn't. He was a fictional detective who was invented by the writer Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. However, to many people he is very real. Some people believe that the character was based on a doctor who once taught the writer. The house itself, which is protected by the government, was built in 1815. It has been visited by millions of Sherlock Holmes fans from all over the world. If you want, okay, we're now on the first floor, and this is the famous study where many crimes were discussed and solved by the detective and his doctor friend. Here you can see the great man's hat and pipe. Is that Holmes' chair? Yes, it is. You can sit it. You can sit in it if you like. It's very dark in this room, isn't it? Yes, Victorian houses were usually painted in dark colors. We're now on the second floor with Dr. Watson's bedroom at the back and Mrs. Hudson's room at the front. Excuse me, who was Mrs. Hudson? She was Holmes and Watson's landlady. Unfortunately, we can't go up to the third floor today because it's being decorated By, but next time you visit remember to go up the third floor to see models of famous scenes from Sherlock Holmes stories the hounds of the Baskervilles Sherlock Holmes and Watson have a visit from a man called Mr. or Dr. Mortimer he wants Holmes' advice before he goes to see his friend, Sir Henry Baskerville. Sir Henry is the last member of the Baskerville family and is going to inherit the family home, Baskerville Hall, in the west of England. Mortimer is worried about Henry and tells Holmes and Watson an old legend about a wild dog. It's called the Hound of the Baskervilles, and it killed Sir Hugo Baskerville hundreds of years earlier. It has also killed other members of the Baskerville family since then. The legend says that this dog will kill anyone called Baskerville. At first, the detective laughs at the story, but then Dr. Mortimer tells him about Henry's uncle, Sir Charles Baskerville, who has just been found dead in his guard. He had no physical injuries, but he had died with a terrified expression on his face. Also near his body, there were the footprints of an enormous dog. Suddenly Holmes is very interested and goes to Baskerville Hall to investigate. Holmes and Watson solve the crime. They discover that the criminal is called Stapleton, a cousin of the Baskervilles, who wants to inherit the family home. He knows the legend of the hound and trains a black dog to kill the first person it sees. He doesn't feed the dog because he wants to make it very hungry. However, when he sends it to kill Sir Henry Baskerville, Holmes and Watson are waiting. When they shoot the dog, everyone realizes that the hound is just an ordinary dog. Stapleton drowns as he is trying to escape. Answer the following questions. Who 
did the count of the Baskerville kill hundreds of years ago. It killed Hugo, Baskerville and other members of the family. What did the hound of the Baskerville look like? It was enormous and big. Why do you think Conan wanted to be a doctor? He wanted to be so because his father was a doctor. He wanted to help sick people and those in poor countries where there were few doctors or no doctors. How do you think Stapleton make use of the legend? He used a hound dog to kill the first person it sees. Why didn't Stapleton feed the hound? To make it very hungry and kill the first person it sees. Why couldn't Stapleton kill Sir Henry Baskerville? Because Holmes and Watson shot the dog before killing him. What was the end of Stapleton? He drowned while trying to escape. Thanks for listening with Nafham, learn easily and simply.